week 14 against the Miami Dolphins. This is not Sunday Night Football because Madden didn't update it. Their start today doesn't even work. But 75 Chargers, 93 Dolphins. Both are not the record they have in real life uh, because I started um, based off last week where we won 29-28 to against the Raiders. Yes, we almost blew, I think it was a 14-0 lead. It ended up, we went to halftime, I think, or we were in the second quarter, we were up 14-0, and at the start of the fourth, we were down 14-28. to So we almost blew that game, but we ended up coming back 15 unanswered. We went for two on the final um, drive and converted, and we are now 7-5. and Still on the outside looking in, the Jets are also 7-5. and They are the seventh seed, and the Dolphins are currently the first seed so i believe the jets are facing the bills if i'm correct because it's based off real life obviously and we are facing the dolphins this is a must win game for us let's see how many records are like real life uh rams are not raiders obviously are not browns are correct cincy is not correct because they beat the chiefs i believe um i don't think they no no they actually since he is correct since he is correct uh minnesota is correct lines are correct most of these are right uh, besides Baltimore, Baltimore's not right and Tampa Bay's not right. You see it. Uh, so most of the records are correct. Anyways, uh, let's see if there's any contract or any players I want to re-sign. I do not want to re-sign Bryce Callahan because he's 30 years old. Uh, he wouldn't want too much, but, I mean, we we need that cap space. Drew Tranquil, I do want to re-sign. I really like Tranquil. I think he's great. Previous offer, last offer he submitted. Uh, they already rejected it, obviously. I'll do that. They rejected it, but I'll up it a little bit. Up the signing bonus to one and a half. And maybe he'll take this, I'd hope. And, okay, we get Drew Tranquil back, give him 500000 um, more. Nazir Adderley, I'd like to develop him more. I will sign him back on a four-year deal. I'll give him the same thing I just um, gave Tranquil, 500 Wow. And with that money, it wouldn't reconsist. Okay, well, maybe... I don't know if we're going to get Adderley back, and I think those are the only players. Um, Should I get Carter back? He wants too much money, to be honest. Like, most of these players want too much money. Yeah, we'll defend a short pass instead of the deep pass. Uh, Blitz counter. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, those are the players. I think I'm not Isaiah Spill. I think I'm going to focus um, Nazir Adderley. Get his overall up a bit and start training. All right, Herbert, Eckler, Allen, all big fatigue. So next week, I'll probably lower their training just to avoid anyone getting hurt. And with that said, um, I don't know why I managed to. Oh, yeah, because I'm the owner. With that said, let's get into this game. Uh, I'm going to play the full game like usual. I'll just not show much of defense because I'm not good at it. Mainly, I only showed the, the third downs. And without further ado, let's get to this game against the Dolphins. So, Fi Stadium, home of the LA Chargers and the Super Bowl champion Rams. So, one team, only one team in the stadium has a chance to make the playoffs, and that is the Chargers. Didn't ex no one expected them to be better than the Rams. There is Tyreek Hill's stats on the season, and there is the man, Justin Herbert, looking to make his first ever playoff appearance in his third season with this injury riddled Chargers roster. Also, I forgot to mention, they actually updated uh, a lot of player likenesses in the past update. And Asante Samuel is one of them. So I should check if he um, is updated in the save file as Eckler is going to get a 10-yard rush to start off the game. And there you can see the injuries. Joey Bosa out for the season. J.C. Jackson out for the season. Slater is out for the season. And Guyton. All huge playmakers for this team, especially on the defensive end. All out for the year as Eckler is going to push forward and get us the first down got another third and short here gonna put it on the ground give it to Eckler and see if he can get us another first down and it looks like he is and a little bit more for four rushes 17 yards on the day for Austin Eckler so far and we're gonna get him involved here on this play uh, I think I'm gonna have McKitty actually block is that possible um, I think I have to do it in uh, oops wrong button I have to do it in hot routes Trey McKitty you are going to pass block. There it is. Because uh, we don't need you on this route. Uh, Austin Eckler. That was a risky pass. But he catches it because whoever number 21 is was not even looking his direction. I plan on getting everyone involved on offense. Especially Austin Eckler. We got to get him at least a touchdown. 
And let's see what's going on here. Uh, I see no one open. And I'm going to run with Herbert. Run out of bounds um, directly through Mike McDaniels. As Herbert gets about four there. I guess we're going to play action. Um, I mean, yeah, there's not much. Play action here. And Keenan Allen, get your toes in. And he does. Two-yard line, first down. Big, big risk here. Third and goal. Keenan Allen should be wide open here if they're rushing all those guys. And they are Keenan Allen in the end zone after that big reception. He gets the first score of the game. Oh, that's... Oh, my Lord. That should have been a pick. Sante. Bro, that was an easy pick for you. Oh, my God. He played that amazing. I hit triangle, and he didn't get the pick. And they somehow got a completion off of that. That was a missed opportunity. Khalil Mack. That's a pick, though. Bryce Callahan with another interception. The leader for picks on this team. I believe that's his third or fourth on the season. And we get the ball right back to start the second. And that makes back-to-back -back games with an interception for the Chargers. Last game against the Raiders, Sante Samuel had one. And in this game, we got Bryce Callahan with one as Austin Eckler gets a huge run. And all the momentum is in our favor against the one-seeded Dolphins. This could be the scoring drive here. If Mike Will can get open, that's a pick. I sure threw a high pass there. And there's that. Oh, my God. Herbert just got decked. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Tackle him, thank you. Bad interception. I sure threw a high pass. I didn't even think he was looking. All right, down to three minutes left in this second quarter. They got We got Tyreek Hill on man coverage, so that ain't good. Or press coverage. They're going to double team Mack. He almost gets through. Derwin James doesn't force the fumble, but he knocks down Mike Gusecki. But they still got a first and 10. They're marching down the field looking to tie this game. After that costly turnover, that definitely didn't help. And Austin Johnson gets through. And they're going to... Oh, my God. How did he get open? Luckily, we hit him in the back and he drops it. But my man just got wide open. Austin Johnson was so close to that sack. I just dove a bit too early. Now they got a second and 10. They are going to go jet sweep, aren't they? No, they actually go with the run. And they don't get much there. Only two yards. And now that call leads to a third and eight. They are definitely going to pass this one. As they got Miles Gaskin in the backfield. Khalil Mack off the edge. And they are going to get the first down again. Uh, we got to hope they don't pass here. I don't think they will. I think this is a run play. And they are. there's a flag on the play. But that is most likely going to be a touchdown for Jeff Wilson. Let's see what the flag is. Oh, it might be on number 30. And is indeed holding offense. Another chance to get try and get a stop. And Asante Samuel with the pick. His second one in back-to-back -back games. And we pick off Tua in the red zone. And he's rocking the baby. But I kind of want to get down the field as much as possible. I'm going to kick it out to... There is no way he picked that off. And that's a pick six. How did how did Xavier Howard even... Okay. I don't even know how he saw that ball. Well, now they got a first and goal. And this feels inevitable. This is going to be a score. I don't know. Nope. Okay. They're passing the ball. And, yep, it's a score. Bro, three interceptions in the first half. What did I just do? Oh, my God. Why? What did I do? I spazzed out and hit L1. 12 seconds. It's either a shot to the end zone or get close enough for a field goal. And I'm really looking at Eckler as the guy. He's wide open. And he gets it. Timeout. Five seconds. I think I'm taking a shot. I'm taking a shot to the end zone. I got it. We're at the 11. I'm not taking a field goal here. We have maybe two shots if we get it off quick. And I'm looking for Mike Will. There we go. There we go. That's a touchdown. Gerald Everett in the end zone. We go down the field in 30 seconds and score after three straight turnovers. I mean, Eckler's doing it right on the ground, but we got Justin Herbert. We got to we gotta keep doing, using the passing game and hope I don't make any dumb mistakes. Eckler, what? Oh, my. There is no way. You got to be kidding me. How? This game is so stupid. This game is stupid. This game is so stupid. Third and seven on a must-score drive here. 
It's the turnovers, man. The turnovers. There we go. Mike Williams. Don't miss him this time, Herbert. That's a first down. Four interceptions, bro. The stats are so skewed. That inter that tip. I'm not going to get over that. That was so stupid. Madden needs to adjust their tendencies with the tipped picks. They do. Or just uh, the tips in general. And Justin Herbert is going to run it into the end zone to make it a one-score game again. Let's see if we can get another defensive stop and not turn the ball over. Third and ten after an Austin Eckler run that went absolutely nowhere. And I am not a fan of these audibles at all. We're going to have to live with it. We're going to have to live with it. And try and get Mike Will over the center. And we can't. Fourth and long. Uh, all right. Let's 54-yard field goal. Can we even make this? We can. It's very possible. Dustin Hopkins with the kick. And it is going to be good. Four-point game. As we have five and a half minutes left. That's not even Dustin Hopkins' face. Five and a half minutes left in this fourth quarter. Give the Dolphins the ball back. And our defense has been good. Mo their points are all off turnovers. They only have one um, touchdown on offense. This this is a 7-24 to 24 game if we don't have those dumb turnovers. Just saying. We're dominating them. But that's not what's happening. We're down by four. Three minutes left now. <laughs> My God, bro. This is such a disaster of a game. Our defense has held their own against this offense all game. Those five turnovers killed us. The, Kenneth Murray, what do you do? Oh my god. Oh my god. DeAndre Carter. This man, this man just kept us in the game. This man keeps it alive. DeAndre Carter kick return for a touchdown to keep us alive. Making it a five point game. We have to go for two to make it at least three. Keenan Allen is the man to look for. My goodness, but Trey McKitty is the one I'm going to, and we get a two-point conversion to make it a three-point game. Plenty of time left. We just need our defense to hold their own. Biggest defensive play of the game so far. Let's see if we can get a stop, please, because if not, it's going to make things a lot harder. Come on. No way. How do you not tackle him? My God. Third and 12. We need this stop, guys. We need a stop. Can we please get it? They're going to run it again. I did not expect them to run it again. Tackle him, please. Tackle him this time. Thank you. Now the clock's probably going to run down to a minute as they're going to have to punt. And that's, yeah, we're going to have about a minute left with no timeouts to go down the field to get either a field goal or a punt. DeAndre Carter... Let's see if you got some magic in you on this punt return. You do not. And exactly a minute to go down the field. If anyone can do this, it's Justin Herbert. I just got to not throw a pick. Just got to not throw an interception on this possession. We're good. And Gerald Everett gets it. But we got to go fast. I don't care about the kicker. We got to go fast. 39 seconds left. No timeouts. I'm going to go back to Gerald Everett. That's a pick, isn't it? That's game. That's game. Five interceptions ain't going to win you a game. Two touchdowns, five picks. Our defense played good, too, till the end. The end is where we just fell apart defensively. Keenan Allen had an amazing game. Like, I don't understand, bro. We didn't have a single sack on the day. Two picks for Xavier Howard, and I'm not even saying your name. Pick for Asante. Pick for It started so good for us, too. That's the sad thing. And we had a kick return for a touchdown to keep us in the game. Like, what else can you ask for? And we still lose. Oh, my God.